So the, hello everyone. This is Optimus X here. And uh well I used to be a channel named uh by uh anime fan ray twenty thirteen, so I changed the channel name and I changed the channel completely actually. So things are gonna be kinda di bit different here. So I'm here first the first video now is with a tour review. And I'm gonna do a bone review because my really I told my friend Derpy Dash one three one uh chose I told her that a, a guy I can't talk to. Her. I I made her choose a color and she said yellow. And the second one was blue, so there's gonna be another toy review tomorrow. So the first one she said was yellow. So yellow I'm reviewing Bone Country from Beast Hunters and she said the word Prime. I said which series? Prime or G one? I got Beast Wars Bone movie here. I mean Beast Hunters Bone movie. I said the wrong series. Um, here's a uh, here's this vehicle. I got this back in like 2013, so it's kind of a bit old, but old figure because it's the new movie coming out this year. So it's 2014 right now. So, but I missed that old channel I had. I mean, it's it was a uh, good. It seems not many people recognized it, and uh, so right now I'm with another toy review, and well. This so is, I'm gonna do a reshoot. This is a reshoot of basically the original movie tour review. Remember back in that one for Anime Hen Ray, I didn't speak at all. So now I'm speaking right now to you right now. So here's the first tour we're gonna be reviewing. I'm gonna be reviewing other toys though. I'm gonna be re reviewing Beyblades, uh, possibly. Because I have only two Beyblades. I don't, <laughs> I don't have much. I have a lot of Transformers though. And uh, some Super Robot figures. You might actually might recognize the robots or not because most people in this freaking country doesn't know them. So I'm going to be doing a, a review of the Transformers first. And the Transformers I'm going to be reviewing tomorrow, coming up tomorrow, is going to be probably Ultra Magnus or Blur. Oh my god, I do not want to do Ultra Magnus because Ultra Magnus is too flipping big. Alright. And I got the R.I.D. one, which is even way worse. So, uh... Oh, snap. Sorry, I got him sliding. So here he is. This is auto his vehicle mode right here. And he's like bold he looks like he was supposed to be like the one of the um wreckers from Dark of the Moon. He looks completely similar to that. And his this is actually cool looking to me actually. He looks like a battle mode. And really I think the Transformers always should have looked like this in vehicle mode, to be honest. So here's a uh, here's on top, we're gonna begin with this. We have this rocket launcher thing. I don't know what it does, but actually, yeah, I know what it does. Sorry, I said I don't know what it does, but now I know. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, so what you do here, you d oh yeah, you have to open these up, open the wings out, which actually look like a flying mode if you put it on top of the car, and this black missile right here, this black missile, it shoots, oh my god, it went across the screen. It shoots, it went really fast, so I don't think you saw it, but it, it fires a, like a mechanism right here, this black button right there, if you can see it. The black button right there. And this goes right back into the slot right here, so you can store it. So I'm going to move that to the side. And the wings, if it has the wings up, you can just put it on top like this. You can have him with the wings out. It looks like he's flying and... Well, he never really had this mode to show. Whoops. My mistake. Put the engine back on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that next. So yeah, here's his other mechanism here. Now onto the vehicle itself. On the front here, we have this engine. Front here, we have this engine. It comes. It comes with like uh, two guns. These are actually two guns. So you could pull them apart. They could go together to look like an engine of a Mustang or whatever kind of car you you know. A uh, pimped out car. Yeah, and in the show he has this. I mean. Oh yeah, got, if you hear like an ice cream truck in the background, just ignore it. That's just the ice cream truck named Mr. T I was supposed to say Mr. Whoopi from Grand Theft Auto. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean Mr. Wo um, oh my God, I was about to say it again. You know what? Screw it. But just ignore that ice cream truck music in the background. It's Saturday, so it's gonna be out here, in where I live. So here his vehicle mode, and he has the missiles on the side here. You can use these for the launcher, if you use these uh, on top for this thing right here, if you use them. 
And uh, I know a lot of reviewers pointed this out, but I'm just I'm a new to this, all right. So try to get used to it. I'm just a 14 year old here in this world trying to do toy reviews for a living and videos possibly for a living if I could do it, which I'm afraid because of the copyright content ID claims this year. So here we have so um, here we have him is like yellow car mode. He has like a pent up car mode. This with this one, the first edition one looked kind of different. And uh, the second one for R.I.D. series, a deluxe class may have been, looked completely different. So, I like this one better, because he looks way more pent out. And he has, like, more custom. He looks more customized. And the red lights here, on um, the other version, I think they're painted, I don't know. But I think they're gone on this one, so. <laughs> I think Hasbro left that out. <laughs> so, and also this red, ignore that, if you can see it. There's like a sort of weird red paint right there, so th I think that's probably a paint mistake. So, to transform him, open the doors. Yeah, that's what I mostly know from Bumblebees now, because it, it's like most, it's mostly from the movie series this began. You have to pull the arms out, wait a minute, I think I did something wrong. Oh yeah, right. You have to, uh, oh my god, did I forget a transformation? I cannot believe it, I forgot a transformation. I, this I can tell I'm growing up. I'm losing... I'm losing how I transform my figures. Oh my god. Okay. Cause I'm fiddling around with that Xbox all the time in the PSP. Um. And now you pull the legs down. Like so. His knees being a pain in the neck. Come on, get up. Good. Alright, now I have the legs out. Like so. Now. Pull the legs down. On the oh wait, I thought you had to pull out the heels. Oh, never mind. His feet already had the heels out. That's where he looks like he's wearing shoes. <laughs> looks like he's wearing shoes. This guy. And now for this part. Oh my God, did I forget this part. It's you have to pull. Yeah, you have to pull this. I'm forgetting the transformation. This is bad. <laughs> I gotta do more practicing. Oh yeah, right. And I forgot you have to pull the missiles down. That's the thing I was missing. Crap. I'm an idiot. Beware, I am an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so I think you have to fold the chest down. But you pull this hood back. Fold the chest down. I'm gonna have to get his instruction manual. I'm forgetting. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad, folks. I am losing... I'm a Transformer fan since like 2005, so I should remember the transformations. What the heck? Alright, there. Alright, there we go. Now you got his robot mode there. And I do have his instructions. They're inside the uh, drawer. My mom's drawer. I, I keep them in my mother's drawer. She doesn't mind. But, here he is. Bumblebee in his robot mode from Beast Hunter. I mean, if he did look like this in Beast Hunter, this would be cool look. Actually, my, like, uh, he would have been like this in the, in the actual cartoon, but he didn't turn out to look all like customized. He he didn't, which it would have been awesome if he did. And the surprising thing that is that he talked in the episode. Holy crap! For the first time, I think it was the last episode. I guess I don't know, but it was during he almost gets killed or something, and well, he's talking. He was talking again, which he never <laughs> really realized. So here's the gun. So here's the guns. The engine here. These two little gray pieces right here. So you put them onto his arms like this, and there's a tab right there. You can click them in. Click them into the tab on both of his arms. And there you have him with his guns. Like he's going to shoot the Sethans with these guns. Like they're really tiny, and somehow in the show their guns don't do anything. Uh, so on the back, if you turn around to the back, it's this hole there. There's a hole there, looks like a hexagon, hexagon-shaped hole there, and then you plug it in, plug it in like this. Oh wait, I, I put it the wrong way. What the heck am I doing? Right, that ice cream truck is still playing out there. Jesus Christ! Um, <laughs> so you could pull out the wings like this, like make him look like he has the jetpack. 
It would be pretty sweet if he did have it. Actually, I think he did. I'm not sure in the cartoon. I really didn't pay attention to the final episodes. I really didn't. Because I, I was confused with the Predacons, the plot and everything. It really didn't make sense to me. So, there you have Bumblebee in this full robot mode. And he just looks great. I mean, just look at this, this black parts right here. And if he would have looked like... Really, if you look like this in the cartoon, it would have been amazing, except for that black paint he had in the cartoon, which I, doesn't make sense. I mean, he could have stayed yellow. He looks like Stealth Bumblebee from the 2007 toy line. So, here he is, like, it, he, he looks way more real. like, even the yellow is different. On the other R.I.D. version, his yellow was kind of light, like a lemon yellow. This one's kind of like a cheddar cheese yellow, so it's kind of a bit deeper. The golden kind of cut color. It's really uh different from the R.I.D. version. And the ice cream truck gets closer. Of course you do, you freaking moron. Uh, <laughs> so on the first version, he had like the rims colored silver. They're not silver this time. They're black, completely black, and they roll, which is pretty nice. He spins. Yeah, and he has like a he has hollow eyes, which I don't get because they should have they should have done something about that. He has like really hollow eyes. You really can't see if he has eyes or not. But I like the head sculpt. It's really cool. It looks like he altered his head. Like he got like a battle mask on. If he did like a battle mask, it would have looked really great. Like he looks really awesome. This like this in this figure. Which, I don't get why they released them, even if they didn't look like this in the cartoon. What's the point with them re releasing them? I'm like, come on, Hasbro. But, Takara told me to do some modifications. You know, they did something completely different. So, the transformer back into his robot while I'm taking this mechanism off. While I'm taking this mechanism off first. I'll be taking the guns off his arms. Sorry if you see my ashy hands. My hands are really ashy. I haven't used, used lotion in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm like an old man. But, uh, I'm not old. I'm 14. I'm a teenager, so I'm gonna be 15 next month. Which is cool. I might get another figure. I might go to Times Square. No, no, no. My mom might not agree with it, but, you know, she's kind of a stubborn woman. Uh, anyway. <laughs> If she's if she sees this video if she's if she sees this video I'm gonna tell her I'm sorry <laughs> she, you're not stubborn <laughs> you're just mean <laughs> so uh to transform him back what you have to do is pull the hood up then you have to fix the chest a bit you have to disconnect the chest from here oh my God am I forgetting I am s oh there he is. Here's what you do here, alright. Close the arms in like this, it goes on all by itself. So what you have to do there. Oh my god, his head keeps on popping out. Alright. Alright, there's the front of the car. Now for the windshield. I bet you can't even hear the ice cream truck, but it's like out there, it's still out there. A stalker ice cream truck, beware. <laughs> okay. Now I'll fold the feet up. Into the back. Oh my god, I can't see. Oh, here it is. Mm. I really need those glasses. I, my eyes are messed up. Alright. So, here's his vehicle mode almost. If I could get everything tapped in. Toy so darn hard. Alright. Tab the arms into the side of the car, the back wheel, I think, I guess. Did I say gay? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, there he is in this vehicle mode. Oh, wait, close the door. You don't want that open. You definitely don't want your car door open when you're driving. You hit someone in the face. Uh, <laughs> you could literally do that. It goes, whoosh, let's hit someone right in the face with the car door. Or knock them down right on their butts, like they'll just land like that. Well, all right, everything's tied in place. Now for the mechanism to go on top, his weapon. 
the other second weapon, the third, fourth weapon, I don't know what to call it. And there, you have Bumblebee back in his vehicle mode. And I gotta say, this toy is really amazing to me. I got it, my mom gave it to me on my birthday, last year. So, there he is. Really cool figure, I really do agree. And I already know people already have this. So, <laughs> what's, the, what's the point of saying I recommend this? So, there he is, and I really hope you enjoyed this review. Next review coming up might be Blur or Ultra Magnus. Who knows? But my friend Derpy-131, she chose Blur or Ultra Magnus, because really, she's not much of a Transformer fan. She's just a My Little Pony fan of Friendship is Magic, which I don't know how she knows the whole... She needs to whole, know the whole series to know that theory. But, and that's how she thinks, you know, that's how we all think, you know. We see the first cartoon, and we think that's the beginning of how this all began, that series began or something. But, here's the end of the review, and try to like and subscribe if you don't like this toy, you can just like if you want. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care, you're gonna give me more views anyway, so, so screw haters. I only like people who know what they're doing, alright? People who are smart, more nicer, have more, let's just say, guts to express themselves, because I can, I can express myself Really, I can express myself really good. So, there you have it. Transformers Beast Hunters, or Crime Beast Hunters Bumblebee tour review. Hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you liked. So, bye-bye.